In today's video, I'm going to go over a new set of paints that I picked up. These are from Steve Mitchell, and he worked with M. Graham to come up with this watercolor set. And you can only purchase it in St. Paul, Minnesota at Wet Paint. They do have an online shop though, so you can order online. But it looks like a really um, good set. I've always wanted to try M. Graham, and I'm a huge fan of Steve Mitchell's YouTube page, so I thought this would be a great set to pick up. This is a 10 color watercolor set, and it is a split primary. So there is a warm and cool of each of the primary colors. And then there's also a green, purple, and then uh, two neutrals. This set includes Thalo Green, and then Quinacridone Rose, which is the cool red, and then Scarlet Pyrrole, which is the warm red. It's more of a orange color. And then we have Transparent Red Iron Oxide, which is a neutralizing color and then we have ultramarine blue azo green azo yellow this is the cool yellow and then dioxazine purple And Indian yellow, which is the warm yellow. And then neutral tints. So I think this is a really good starter set. I don't know, it all around has, I think, all the colors you would need. So if you are interested, I would definitely pick it up. And then also, I ordered a palette to put these paints in. So I got this set off of Amazon. I think it was like $15. You got a pouch that I think is meant to put the palettes in, but I actually used it to hold my pans that I wasn't using. And it came with 50 pans, 50 half pans, and then two tin palettes. So for $15, it's actually a pretty good deal. And I don't know, a tin palette to me is a tin palette. I don't think spending more money on one adds value to the quality. I don't know, I guess I haven't really noticed a difference between the quality in an expensive tin and then an inexpensive tin. So I think this is a pretty good set. And then I am starting to fill up my pans that I got. I had some full pans, so I started with those first. Um, when I put my paints in pans, I label the outsides with the color number and then the brand. And I use a permanent Sharpie marker to do that. And then I typically fill the pans halfway, but in this case I was a little impatient and just filled them all the way up. So then I take a toothpick and I mix it a little bit, try to get the paint in all of the nooks and crannies and try to make it as smooth as possible. And then I do a double tap to try to settle the paint down a little bit more. When I'm not being impatient, um, when I fill them up halfway, I do these same steps. So I fill it halfway, mix with the toothpick, and then flatten it out a bit, and then let it dry. And then I'll do that once more just to get 
a more thorough of a drying time in but in this case I just kind of rushed it and these paints are so creamy that I don't think they're actually gonna completely dry out like I think they'll stay a little bit um, softer but we'll see I've never used these before so it's my first attempt at using mgram paints and with this paint set too these colors are all transparent and light fast now i'm gonna start placing the full pans into my palette um, for this palette i didn't do any sort of prep work i do have a video on how to prep your palette but normally i don't do that i'm too impatient and um, for me the texture of the palette doesn't bother me so I'm just going in and adding my full pans to the palette I'm setting this up in a split primary fashion so I have my cool colors on the right and my warm colors on the left and then this palette only fits six full pans unfortunately the center doesn't fit the full pans that i have so i had to use a mixture of full pans and half pans so i s specifically used um, the full pans for the split primary colors aside from the phthalo green because I think I'm actually going to pick up another green or another blue, more of a cooler blue. And then I'll have like a true split primary set. And then I'll have the two greens that came with this set in addition to that. And also I'm probably going to pick up four additional colors anyways, because I like my palettes to be completely full. And in this setup, I can fit in for additional colors and also as i start adding more colors i might decide to rearrange this um, after i shot this i actually moved the phthalo green um, so that i'd have the two greens on the outside and then in the middle now i have the neutrals and then the secondary colors purple and then the red iron oxide so right now with just seeing the selection of colors, I think that I would definitely recommend this set, especially if you want to try out M. Graham, because I think it gives you a really good variety of colors. They're colors that will mix well together to make all sorts of other colors. And now I'm going to go through and quickly swatch these so that you can see what they look like um i'm the paints aren't fully dry at this point they're still wet in the pans so i'm probably gonna let them sit out for a, about a week and see if they dry up and then um start actually doing a painting with them then because that's kind of how i'm used to working with watercolors i'm not used to using them fresh out of the tube but in this case to swatch them i am using them straight out of the tube and i think that they are really bright and vibrant and the paints are super creamy i don't know i think i think overall it's just going to be a really fun set to use and it's always nice trying something new and that's about it for this video so again this is the steve mitchell um, set that he created with M. Graham with wet paint. So this is specifically or exclusively at wet paint in St. Paul, Minnesota. So go check them out. So hope you enjoyed watching this video. Thanks. Bye.